Let us see the next question. X demanded is considering purchasing of a machinery. Purchase price of the machinery is 10,000. Cash inflow with the purchase of the machinery is as under. First year 4,000, second year 7,000, third year 18,000. Calculate NPV of the project for the discounting rate 25, 24 and 26%. Then the second part of the question is here that we will see later on. So at three discounting rates, NPV is required to be found. Friends, if at all the discounting factor information is not given, then in that case, in the classroom, we will follow a simple rule that present value factor will be computed up to four decimal and present value cash flow can be will be calculated up to two decimal. That is the way I am going to solve all the that is questions uniformly. From examination point of view, the present value factor can be calculated up to 4 or you may comp compute up to 3 decimals at least. And present value cash flow, even for that my suggestion is that compute up to 2 decimals. Now try to find NPV for these 3 discounting rates on your own, then I will do working for you. Let us see the calculation of NPV friends. 25% first year factor. 0 0.80, 0 0.64, 0 0.5120, 4000 into 0 0.8, 3 to double 0, 7000 into 0.64, 4480, 18,000 into 0.512, 9216. That is the way present value of the cash inflow is found. 16,896. Less investment. 10,000. And NPV. 6896. This is a NPV calculation at 25%. Now 24%. First of all, let us write the factors 0 0.8065. Second year it is 6504. Third year 0.5245. Present value 4000 into 0 0.8065. So 3226. Then 7000 into 0 0.6504, 455, 2.8. Then 18000 into 0.5245, 9441. So 17,219.8. Again the investment is 10,000. So 7219.8. That is the way the NPV is found. Then NPV to be found at 26 percentage. 26 percentage. 0.7937. 6 to double 9 4 triple 9 7 9 3 7 into 4000 3 1 7 4 point 8 this is present value of the cash flow 6 to double 9 into 7000 double 4 0 9 point 3 Four triple nine into eighteen thousand. Eight double nine eight point two. So the present value of the cash inflow is sixteen thousand five hundred eighty two point three.
amount of investment is same 10,000. So NPV is 6582.3. That is the way the NPV is found for the three discounting rates. Second part of the question, what is your observation with above results? So the question says that say, what kind of conclusion that you can draw with the working that we have done? I want somebody of you to tell me answer. So there is a mistake on my end. This is 25% and this is 24 percentage. Now friends, over here importantly we can observe that the discounting rate and NPV have inverse relationship. When the cost of capital is falling down from 25 to 24, at that point of time you can see NPV of the project is increasing from 6896 to 7219. Means cost of capital and NPV have inverse relationship. When cost of capital increases from 24 to 26, NPV is falling down from 7219 to 6582. So when the cost of capital is reducing, NPV increases and when cost of capital increases from 24 to 26, then in that case the NPV of the project is falling down from 7219 to 6582. It means that say, the cost of capital and NPV of the project have inverse relationship. This is the kind of conclusion that say, we can draw say, from the given work here. Please add on this answer. Shall I write on answer the second part? Based on Above working, comma, we can conclude that cost of capital and NPV of the project have inverse relationship full stop with increase in cost of capital NPV is falling down and vice versa. Full stop. 